Uh, someone that worked very closely with Aretha Franklin is Mary Callahan Lynch, and she was her vocal coach. And Mary, knowing your history with opera, uh, I didn't know that you were her, her vocal coach, but it does explain how she was able to nail Pavarotti so well. Thank you so much for joining us and our condolences. Oh, thank you so much. Well, actually, I cannot, I cannot actually take any credit for, as a vocal coach. I was her operatic <laughs> vocal coach. I just uh, uh, taught her her um, operatic repertoire. But um, it's such a huge loss. You know, Aretha had such a massive soul, and so it's this is a massive loss for all of us. I mean, of course, I'm personally heartbroken, but I know that we all are. Uh, she was such a gift. Um, and I think as a Detroiter, what um, means so much, and I'm sure to all of us, is that she chose to stay in the Motor City. You know, she could have lived anywhere, mm -hmm. and she chose to stay with us. <laughs> and um, I can just imagine the reunion that she's having uh, in heaven right now because she had such a deep faith. You know, she was um, such a devout uh, woman of faith. It, would, it was you could hear it in anything that she sang. I always felt whenever I heard her sing that she was so close to God, and she's certainly close to God now. Tell us what it was like teaching her music. How do you even begin <laughs> with somebody so talented? <clears throat> well, the thing about Aretha, you know, she was obviously such an extremely gifted uh, music, she, music just oozed out of her. So what I would do is I would I would initially make tapes for her for the Italian so she could get the Italian in her teeth, as we say, and um, I would record whatever aria we were working on, and, and then we would meet, and I would sing some measures, then she'd repeat it, and she just was like a sponge, and she loved opera. And I think with the Nessun Dorma, the truth is, you know, she really did only have a 30-minute uh, heads up with no rehearsal and went on the Grammys, and she just nailed it. It's oh. just such a testament to uh, her, her enormous gift and uh, her fierce, her fierceness. I mean, who does that? And fearlessness. Well, Aretha, that would be Aretha Franklin. <laughs> what, is your so, greatest, um, what is your greatest memory? Well... I think uh, I, I did travel with her, and one of the greatest memory I have of her is when she received a, an award from the Smithsonian Institute of Arts in, in Washington, D.C., and there were other really very obviously extraordinary people getting the award, um, and everything was very staid and lovely, and then Aretha came on the stage, and everything changed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she just got up and said, do you want a party? And everyone got up on their feet and started uh, singing and dancing. It was such a, a great um, moment. I mean, there were a thousand people there, I think. It was, it was a huge audience and everybody changed on a dime once the Queen of Soul came on stage. Wow. Absolutely, wow. It, you are speaking to her enormous vocal talent and operatic ability is probably one of the the, the biggest strength of voice oh, yeah. you ever hear. And Absolutely. for her, for you to confirm what we already know, but that she had very little time to prepare and just nailed it. And it was one of the most memorable moments that we have of her career and her ability singing for Pavarotti at, at the Grammys that day um, speaks volumes certainly about just how how incredibly talented and unique and one of a kind Aretha Franklin was. Absolutely. Mary, we thank you so much for your, your perspective and of course our condolences to you as well, working so closely with her. Thank you. Well, God rest her soul. Absolutely. Yes, we are. Indeed. Thank you, Mary.